my best time on this map so far has been uh, a minute and 34. You know. What's going on, guys? It's your boy IBS Kelso, man. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. Like and subscribe, man. I appreciate it. it. Just helps out the channel. But other than that, this is what my 20 hours of MX bikes looks like. Uh, currently, been loving Paletta the version two raceway. Uh, literally has grown on me. I've literally done all my 20 hours on this map. I haven't played on any other. I feel like, you know, there's no point to switch up on other maps to get the feel of anything when you really just need to focus on, like, learning one map. So I think that's just, like, my own knowledge. I could be wrong. Hopefully you comment down in the, you know, comment down below if you guys think, you know, that's kind of a bad method. But, you know, I think you get personally good at one good map. That way, you know, you kind of have that one in your brain. That way when you move on, you at least have one good map you know in your back pocket but with that being said i am loving this yz250 yamaha it is literally my bread and butter uh, i've tweaked it to the best of my ability it is freaking phenomenal for me on this track um i have not yet done supercross i have not yet tried to go to any anaheim houston anything i don't know which one to choose yet what to get really good at i've been watching you know staying up on every saturday watching all the know all the anaheim tracks and you know down in houston and i'm really excited for all that but you know i don't know which one's really going to grow on me that i want to start off and really understand so uh without any of that i'm not going to talk you guys ear off anymore i'm going to get right into uh, writing i would give you guys a uh, warm-up and then probably would race for you guys but literally uh, mx bikes is kind of just shit in the bed right now and everybody's getting connection timeouts and stuff so i'll give you guys a good you know two two to three laps you know that way you guys can see my progress and just you know kind of talk and see like that this is this is the game you know i, I wish i would have known about this game way sooner than what i just found out about it but i'm i'm happy to be here i am nothing near being a pro um, I barely know anything about the community here, you know, I'm hoping to grow and meet other YouTubers, you know, just friends, oh my goodness, other people, you know, in the community that share the same passion of dirt bikes in this game, you know, and I, I love it, I do, you know, it's something special, it's probably the hardest, like I said before, probably the hardest simulator kind of game I've played, you know, it, this this game takes skill. I kid you not, this game takes a lot of skill, patience. You can be having the greatest run in the world, and one slip up is all it takes. And that's what it means in real life too. Like one slip up could cost you your career, you know? And like these these bikes aren't in real life or not a toy. If you ride in real life, which is I do, I'm more of a street bike guy. I barely get into dirt bikes, but I, I've rode them. But either way, street bike or dirt bike, these things aren't, aren't a toy. These things will kill you. you know? It's a machine built for speed and power. Power that you have no idea how much it has. So you really got to treat it like a baby. Like a, a huge baby, even in this video game. So, um, I like it like that. But yeah, so far, I remember coming around Paletta and I would like at least crash like four to five times in a, uh, I guess, four or five times in a freaking lap but so far i've kind of screwed up one good time on this on this on that first run so i'm really enjoying that my, my best time on this map so far has been uh, a minute and 34 you know i've been like really focusing on trying to find where i can find more speed on this map and i feel like just right now it's more or less understanding what what paths i need to take and you know speed's just gonna come like as I, as I progress, you know, more hours. But uh, yeah, if you guys like this map, man, I'm gonna put it down in the description below. It is a free map. It's probably one of the better ones, for, in my opinion, for oh my goodness, for my uh, 20 hours of playing. But yeah, hopefully here soon I'll get some content of oh my goodness. I get some content of me uh, going crazy on Supercross, you know, feeling it that way. I definitely want to get into it. I think those maps are definitely challenging, and that's where I really want to put it to the test, you know. But I, I don't even have the out motocross, you know, down packed. So when I can get this down packed, where I'm going like good four, three, four, you know, th two, two laps without falling, three laps. Oh my God, pushing P, you know. 
I think that's when I'm like, yeah, okay, let me try, put it to the test. But I think I definitely need another 10 hours, maybe 20 to understand, you know. I need some more open races, get the feel of starting, you know, starting off the line, right off, right out, right off the bat. I don't, I'm not good at that shit at all yet, you know what I mean? So I don't want to say, I don't even want to toot my own horn, like, yeah, like, I can get into it, and then as soon as I freaking start off the line, I'm freaking looping my bike. That is the worst, man. Yeah? You're just, like, losing so much time right there. But, yeah, I mean, something I definitely need to work on is kind of doing my start. So the more I play this map and uh, understand it where I need to find my, like, nice rhythm section, my nice my nice route and all that, I'll be golden. I'll be fine. I'll be vibing. But so far, I think I'm finding my inner peace of knowing I'm okay with crashing once or twice. And in a lap to understand that, you know, I'm still beginning and it's worth it, you know. But when I start getting to like four, five, six, seven crashes in one lap, I'm like, dude, now it's just like a skill issue. It's literally myself. Like right here, I'm just doing simple, simple mess, mess ups that there's no reason that I should be doing. But it happens, you know. And it's right there to where it makes you want to challenge yourself. I'm like, I can better. I can become better. For this, for this game. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I really want to try out the KTM. I heard the KTM is a demon in Motocross Outdoors. And I think I would love to try a build for that. But, uh, yeah, I'll definitely... Uh, if you guys are liking this Yamaha build so far, you guys seem shredding with it at least. Like, at least second and third gear. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I should have sat down. <laughs> But I'm absolutely shredding. It's really just my own skill issue of me falling here and there, so. Alright, give this last lap here and uh, I'll let you guys be on your merry way, man. But also added the uh, controller input overlay. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy that. I think I personally like it. It makes it. I like when I look at other people's streams and I see what their movement is and all that. I don't try to mimic it, but I try to understand, like, okay, you're coming across this corner. How are you really, like, coming about it? Are you really breaking a lot? Or are you just, you know, you just pedal to the metal? Like, what are you doing with your analog sticks? And I think, you know, a lot of people can be like, okay, cool. This is what I'm doing. Maybe you might have tips and tricks for me. Be like, hey, don't move your freaking controller. Or do this when you're coming around you know, into a rhythm section or something. Or in, in the uh, whoops. I'm, I'm cutting, man. I had heard also you don't, you really don't want to break, man. It's all about not losing momentum in this freaking game. And what I seem to still do because I am the beginner, uh, I seem to break. You know, I heard a lot of people say you want an engine, you want an engine break. You, know, you want your engine to break, and not use your brakes, and that's the best way to uh, get around the map to save time. So I don't think I'm quite there. You know, that's a pro tip. It's where they know exactly where what route they're taking, how much speed they know they need to come like about over this hill, come into this right here. Like I didn't have to break right here. That was pretty sick. But yeah, <clears throat> there's a lot to it. There's a lot to this game to where it's just knowledge, it's map knowledge, and it's bike knowledge, you know, knowing your bike. That's why like also I don't really want to switch. Like I want to try the KTM, but I want to be able to try this. I want to, I, I want to be able to master this bike to just like, yeah, I know this freaking Yamaha. YZ250, like it's the back of my hand, you know? But yeah, dude, I don't really have much else for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is literally the nicks and crannies of IBS Kelso first starting, and I'm really terrible now. I'm just screwing around. But I, I got a pretty good couple laps in for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, like and subscribe for your boy. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm probably going to try to get a race or two in for you guys coming up here soon. Alright dudes, peace!